everyone, I'm Christiane Klein, author of Christiane's Herbal Kitchen, Fresh Herb Recipes for Body and Soul. And I wanted to share with you guys today a little bit about the book, how it came to be, and a little bit more information. This is not your typical cookbook. This is what I call a lifestyle cookbook. I have focus on segments where we talk about some of the chemical composition, the history of certain herbs. I have beauty tips, how you can use the same ingredients that are in these delicious meals to, you, to make your own at-home spa treatments, serums, masks, toners, perfume. And I also have amazing, delicious, healthy, easy recipes, recipes that you can make with your friends, with your family, with your kids, with your loved ones. Just all around great recipes, all featuring these guys here, fresh herbs. The reason why I focused on fresh herbs for my first cookbook is that fresh herbs bring an incredible depth of flavor and richness to your meals that's really unlike anything else. They also are packed with nutrients and antioxidants that are great for your body. They have incredible health benefits. Several of these herbs have actually been shown to lower your stress levels, improve your mood, help you to sleep, and some are even rumored to be aphrodisiacs. There are so many amazing recipes. I don't want to brag, but there are. Um, and I love so many of them. But I would have to say that my favorite recipes would probably be the herb salad with heirloom tomatoes and a white wine herb vinaigrette. It's beautiful, it's colorful, it's fresh and delicious. Um, I also love the steak with the rosemary thyme cabernet peppercorn sauce. And if you don't like steak, you can easily put that on pork tenderloin as well. It's rich, it's spicy from the heat of the peppercorns and it has such great herb flavor. The broiled salmon with mango mint jalapeno salsa it's delicious, it's fresh, it's packed with antioxidants and nutrients, great for your skin if you're eating it, and it's also what I call the love recipe uh, because mint and cilantro are well known to be aphrodisiacs from as far back as ancient Greece. Also, I got a really great review from the cookbook from a weight loss food critic, and she said she loved, loved, loved my cookbook. She mentioned that recipe by name. Um, some of the other ones that are one of my favorites, I would have to say, is the Sangria Granita with the candied orange and mint. It's delicious as a dessert, but if you wanted to have it as a cocktail, easily can. Freeze some of your fruits there and you just pop them in, keeps it cold and delicious. I love the fun tips. I really wanted to have a cookbook that was fun and encouraged people to be creative in their cooking. And the fun tips kind of help you along your way. For example, a lot of the fun tips contain health information or suggested recipe changes. So you might see a recipe that calls for jalapeno or lime and cilantro, and you might be thinking, oh, that's a Mexican dish. Well, you add lemongrass to that automatically you're transported to Asia. So I wanted to kind of encourage you to think along those lines. What can you switch out of the ingredients? What herbs can you add? What recipes and ingredients can you subtract? And kind of change that along and really have fun with it. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today to learn a little bit about the book and learn a little bit about herbs too. I'm Christiane Klein, and if you want any more information, feel free to stop by theherbcookbook.com. Thanks.